All right, so day three of the Creators Retreat, and I'm excited because I'm here at Walter's Garden. As you can see, there's a lot going on back here. So it's gonna be an exciting tour because you get to see the perennials um, for proven winners. Uh, it's always exciting because perennials are just great to have in the garden as well. And to be able to see and go through a tour here is gonna be awesome, uh, not only for us, but to get to show you guys as well. So um, I just got here, I'm gonna head inside and see where I gotta get started. All right, so we just did the tour of Walter's Gardens, and uh, I didn't get an opportunity to really walk and talk because I was paying attention to everything, so I did shoot some video, but I wanted to show you guys everything that's going on out here because it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing at these gardens here. They just have so much stuff. Um, as you can see behind me, just a lot of stuff growing, absolutely looking beautiful. I wanted to show you something real quick. This is every single rose mallow hibiscus they have in production let me turn it around real quick right there on the end all the way to there how great of a show would it be to be here when these actually bloom uh just amazing so just to continue i'm gonna walk and talk and show you guys everything else that's growing back here but you got this phlox growing Daylilies. Daylilies are all over the place. Uh, I, we're, me and Angie are slowly becoming daylily fans, and there's just some amazing ones out here that I want to show you guys. Now, this right here is called Drops of Juniper. It's a, a um, ornamental oregano that absolutely grows great. Ours is not growing like this, and I wish it would, but just look at the way this one's growing. Looking amazing. I love that one. All right, I'm gonna continue on because I saw some stuff, like I said, the day, the, the day ladies I want to show you. Um, here's some daisies there. That plant right there, absolutely beautiful looking. So yeah, this plant right here, absolutely beautiful. Look at this. The colors on it, just so amazing. But getting to the day ladies, look at this day lady right here. Look at the color on that. Absolutely looks beautiful. I'm loving it. Just great. Some bee balm over here. Monarda. Uh, wish we had room to plant. That's called red velvet. I wish we had a lot more room to be planting these monardas in our garden uh, because they definitely attract the bees. Got some coneflower here that's looking beautiful. Some salvia. Uh, man, the colors. Uh, I am just can't get enough of the colors. And then here's another day lily that I fell in love with when I was walking by. Look at that right there. Just absolutely beautiful. Those colors look gorgeous. We got some allium, some will still be growing. Some grasses, there's just, there's a whole lot to look at out here and I wish I could show you all, but we just walked through the tour and uh, we don't have it much time after the tour to come around here and take individual photos of everything, but I'm gonna do my best, like I said right now, to show you everything that's going on. We got some more day lilies right there that look gorgeous. I'm just going to pan over here because there's something I don't want to miss before I leave here and I want to show you guys because uh, there's just some exciting stuff over here. And I'm just walking. Hopefully you guys can see uh, everything that's going on out here because there's just so... So there's a day lily over here that's very familiar to us. And this one is called uh, Sound of My Heart. That's Rainbow Rhythm Sound of My Heart. That's one that we already have growing in the front of the salt bed, if any of you recognize it. It's beautiful, beautiful day lily. Let me walk over here real quick because just look at this color right here. It's like a bunch of glow sticks sticking out of the ground. But that just looks beautiful. Look at that. All these right here. Nice little bridge for a setup. Looks great, looks amazing. Got a pergola over there with some other stuff going on. I mean, every, everything here is just displayed perfectly. Looking beautiful, looking nice. Then you have this little setup right here. So we're about to walk into a spot that I absolutely love. It is a bunch of hostas, because hostas are great. There is Janie from Dig Plant. A yes. bunch of YouTubers out here. We're doing our job. Yeah. Right? How you liking it out here? I love it. It's beautiful. It's so inspiring. So I'm just telling everybody right now. I'm uh, so hostas are like that's. I love them. That's your jam. It's it's. I say my mole. You Ooh, know. I but, like it. Uh, Angie uses that one a lot. So it's 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 
it's just amazing. This, so this I'm kind of, yeah, I'm trying to save it for the end because that whole area over there with the hostas just absolutely looks great. So but uh, all right, we will catch up then. Okay. I'll see you at Tracy's. Yep. Okay, so as I was saying, we are going to walk into a spot that's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's nothing but hosta. Gorgeous, gorgeous hostas. I'm gonna turn you around so I can show you all the hostas that are growing in here because they absolutely look gorgeous, look beautiful. Some of them are growing huge, some of them are tiny, some of them are frilly, some of them are thick. I mean, they just look absolutely gorgeous. All right, so there we go. Bunch of hosta everywhere. And this is not it, it opens up to more. I mean, when I say more, it's like, oh my God, it's beautiful. So trying to make my camera brighter here because we're walking into some serious shade here. But look at this. Look at all these hostas. And then it starts to open up to more over here. Like I said, all kinds of textures. The flower colors are beautiful. Some have dark purple flowers. Some have light purple. Some have white. But look at all these textures. All these beautiful colors. My God. Bottle Rocket, that's a Bottle Rocket back there, Lugularia. Uh, got um, some Astilbe that's already bloomed out. But, I mean, the textures, look at, even have some of these mini hostas. They have some gorgeous flowers. Look at that, just beautiful. All kinds of textures, everything going on. I mean, God, wouldn't you love to have a hosta garden like this? Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I feel so, uh, so yeah, all these are flowering right here. Absolutely beautiful. Let me make the camera darker because I'm going back into the sun. But all these are flowering, absolutely looking beautiful. But hosta, hosta heaven, look at this. I'm just gonna turn around real quick. Hosta heaven for hosta lovers. Gorgeous view, gorgeous little walkthrough. It's crested surf fern. A uh, fern that's become a favorite, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Some Brunera that's already flowered out. Looking great. And I wish I could, I'm gonna walk across the street, but I wish I could, I could show you guys everything, but there's just, there's, we did, like I said, we didn't have enough time. So I'm just gonna kinda walk through here real quick and show you everything that's going on here uh, because there's just some great color, some great things going on here. I did snap a few photos. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to walk around and take a lot more photos because I was more concentrated on doing video and stuff like that. So what I got is what I got. But I mean, just look at all these textures, all these colors, lots of yellow, blue, reds, pinks. I mean, it's just looking absolutely beautiful. The yellow, I don't know what it is about this yellow, but the yellow just looks gorgeous. It, it, it gives a great color. I, I'm loving the way it looks. And then you dive into this deep, deep blue right here. And it just looks, look at that. Gorgeous colors. And then there's butterflies and pollinators everywhere, loving up on all the flowers and pollen. And then you have some plants like this that just catch your eye. Look absolutely beautiful. Some delphiniums growing. Whew, look at this. Look at this. And then here's one over here is a light blue that I absolutely love the way it looks. Look at this. Beautiful. And then you have some, uh, there's mangaves out here that uh, you see those right there and those, those containers right there just sitting up on these pedestals and they're all over the place. Absolutely look beautiful. Uh, trying, to, trying to get you guys the best view because God, oh my. Look at this. This is, Angie's gonna kill me for this, but this is Daylily Alley right here. Look at this. Beautiful. My God. Look at those colors. And then you have like a coral color type daylily. Then you go to a very dark burgundy. I wouldn't say burgundy, but like a very dark red. Then you have a beautiful looking plum color there. Ooh, and then you get to lighter pinks. Uh, that might be sound of my heart again. I think it's just different colors in different areas. That, that's a different one, though. Look at that one. And then you move along 
and you get the, the ones with the yellow edges and the maroons inside. And then you get some of these right here. And I can go on and on and on, but everything is just beautiful. Uh, here's the coral looking ones. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some smaller flowers, some big flowers, but all these just look great. I mean, look. This is something that I would strive to have. Um, I know we watched a YouTube video not long ago where somebody had a bunch of collections of daylilies and they were just great. Asiatic lilies, daylilies, whatever. Uh, any kind of lily they had in the garden, but this is just great. Look at orange, orange. One I haven't seen is Primal Scream. It's one that we have in our garden and absolutely looks beautiful. And here we have a bog garden, a bog garden with carnivorous plants. Look at that. They have carnivorous plants here at Walter's Gardens and they look awesome. I have some footage that I'll probably put, pop up that shows one that has eaten. Now these guys are planted in, uh, in their own containers in the ground with no holes so they don't drain because they love the water out here. And, and regardless of what you hear about these uh, carnivorous plants, they are not house plants. They love to be outside and they do great outside. There's also a numbing agent in it, so that bug gets a little loopy and it goes down the pitcher. The pitcher is lined with little hairs that all point down at a downward angle. Um, from there, by the time it gets to here, there's an enzyme in it that starts the digestion process. So usually by this time of year, it's had a chance to do some eating. It's been very, very successful at um, harvesting its own. I'm going to show you how these are growing over here. The flower absolutely looks beautiful. There's a white one there. And then you have some more over here. Now these right here are actually in a kiddie pool that's planted. You can barely see the little lining around it, but they're in a kiddie pool with no holes, so they don't drain at all. But they are growing absolutely wonderful here. All right, so here is a Calicoja that is named Pharaoh's Mask. Look at this beauty right here. My God. Texas, here we come. Throw some elephant ears in the ground and just watch them grow because there's all sorts of calicosia that we can grow in Texas and that's something to be excited about. You know, I, I, I was bummed about annuals not being able to really grow so much in Texas, but after coming out here, I mean, not everything's gonna grow in Texas, but a lot of this stuff may grow just as well look at this one right here beautiful this one's called redemption colocasia redemption beautiful ears uh let's see what else we got here we have the rock garden this is a rock garden that has um well all kinds of plants they've got some uh some chicks and hens there some dianthus you know just all kinds of stuff growing in here that uh oh this is one we have at home this is called bleeding heart um, that is a beautiful plant. Uh, ours is not as big because we would love for it to get big, but it's pink diamonds, bleeding heart. Absolutely beautiful looking, but this is the rock garden. This is all concrete repurposed from one of their loading docks. So that's pretty cool that they were able to reuse that here in the garden. You know, what else is here? I mean, there's so much and I wish, like I said, I could show you guys, but I just don't have the time to. We're, we're actually getting ready to leave. I can see people starting to walk over there and I'm not really that big a fan of leaving because this is just absolutely gorgeous and there's just so much. You see all this behind me. Great, great, great group of people out here as well at Walters Garden. So I do want to thank Walters Gardens for having us out here because it's just amazing uh, the stuff that they have out here and, you know, kind enough to give us a tour of everything that's happening out here. So absolutely looks great. I'm just making my way back around, circling around. All right, so just got the word that we're uh, gonna do a group photo and get ready to get out of here and head over to Plaid's and Poppy's house for lunch. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that's going on out here because it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely wonderful looking. And uh, you know, I'm just astonished and I'm just amazed um, of everything that's going on here. So again, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.